This is it. Your first day at Super Chibi Robo. Get out there and make us proud. Let's go! Hey guys, it's me, Double D! Welcome to another episode of Chibi Robo! Last time, we revived Giga Robo and got the entire family back together. This time, we have entered the post game of Chibi Robo. So, what's the post game like? First, our Chibi ranking. We are at number one as established in the last episode. After reviving Giga Robo, regardless of what rank you are in, you will be automatically reverted to number one. Yeah, it's kind of funny like that, as if if you haven't done anything to raise those happy points, you will be instantly reverted to number one, so there's that to look forward to. And by making it to number one, you get Super Chibi Robo Suit, which is going to be Chibi Robo's default outfit from now on. I mean, granted, you can take it off to get to regular Chibi Robo. Oh, we can't pose in here. We can't pose in here, but I want to show you the pose, and you saw the battery meter in the corner right there? Yeah, we now have infinite battery ma- Battery matter, no, battery power. So we don't have to worry about recharging at all. So if there has been side quests that you have unable to get or chibi doors that you have unable to get because you are limited in battery, battery power, you, that's not a problem anymore because you can explore this all you want. So as for our beloved super chibi robo suit, first I'm gonna move this utility bot and to get to where, where I want to go for when I inevitably hunt down those frog rings for this episode. Because this is the post game, so now is the perfect time. Super Cheap Robo does this! It's the lamest pose in the world. Yeah, good thing you could cancel it at any time. Anyway, so yeah, Super Cheap Robo eh, is just a badge put on Chibi Robo to show how much of an awesome servant he is to the family. Eh, it's not really that much to write home about, but yeah. As you can see here, normally this ladder would take up so much battery power, but but, but because we have infinite battery power, you could be able to use utility butts as much as you want. I said utility butts, no. Utility butts as much as you want without having to worry about running out of battery. It is amazing, it is a godsend, and it'll trivialize so much tasks that'll make that so much energy intensive. Case in point, and I'm just gonna go up here. Um let's go up here. To prove that that's this point, this ladder was just only one of two two ways to show how far we've come with infinite battery power and how much it'll help out in the future. Trust me, these utility bots consume massive amounts of battery power, but we now have the means to get them all, which is awesome. So now, yeah, I'm just preparing so we can be able to get all of the frog rings for the second time around. Speaking of frog rings, I did establish in the last episode that all of the frog rings have now relocated so Jenny can be able to so Jenny will be able to speak to us in frog again so we don't have to do that. So, another thing I would like to note is Giga Robo himself. Giga Robo himself will be hanging out with the family from this point forward. In fact, let me just go into the backyard over here. So, this is one of the places that Giga Robo can stand on. He, he, he is in the swing. Two powered up robots on the swing? Ha! Huh, that's hilarious! But are you two having any fun? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh well, you took a happy point, so at least it's easy to tell. I guess you just have a strange way of showing it. So! Oh yeah, one thing I have noticed, just noticed while I'm on the way here, there's an infinite symbol on Giga Robo's side. Kind of a neat detail, because that wasn't there when we first met him. But now it is. Speaking of... Well, minor details that you may have missed. When Dad is out watering the plants, you may have noticed. Well, you probably will never notice, but there is an ant trapped in water over here. Pick up that water with the squirter, and you get happy points from saving that ant from drowning. Or what can loosely be described as drowning. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so... While we're in the post game, we are not done. We may have done a lot of side quests, but the post game requires two side quests that you need to revive Giga Robo in Nora to do. And that is, fittingly enough, the two toys we have met for the first time in the basement, Captain Plankbeard and the Great Pico. So, we're going to be going to over those two things right now in this episode. So, let's meet each other in the basement. Well, no, not meet each other in the basement. You get the point. Let's meet in the basement so we can be able to, once again, finish off the two side quests we have been holding out for so long. Okay, so if you recall, 
Treasure map's hint. Treasure map's hint. No. Treasure map A's hint is, uh, if I can find it, where the exalted one stands. That is referring to Giga Robo. Now that we have revived him, there's that treasure chest. Which we could have gotten there before, but I digress. Anyway, let's open it. You got the thing! Yar, so this is what they mean by darkness under the lighthouse. The treasure be here all along! What it means? Yes, sir! That wee robot got here before us! Before us! Shut your trap, you soft boiled idiot! Shut your trap! Yes, sir! We have collected. A Tamagotchi! Blatant product placement that I've ever seen it. So, unfortunately we cannot give the toy to dad while he's out watering the lawn, so... We're gonna have to go the next day. Fortunately, the final part of Captain Plankbeard's side quest, and probably the final part of the Great Pico side quest, is at night. So we're gonna, we're gonna take care of two birds with one stone. So, let's go see who we can do first. Okay, so, the Great Pico is, of all places, in the fish tank, swimming with the fishes. My, my eyes! The water burns them like coals! Can't you aid me, noble traveler? Yes, we can. Remember, this little thing? The snorkel and goggles that we didn't even think that we would have a purpose? Yeah, this is what it's for. Give them to me with all haste! Ah, my eyes, they are feeling better! The Great Pico just gave us 13 happy points. 500 moolah. And... The Great Pico sticker! Easiest side quest ever! Now my underwater training can continue! Enlightenment... Enlightenment shall be mine! You do you, good sir! Just don't drown. Just kidding, just please drown. Well, I just gave away one of the locations of the frog rings. Actually, yeah. Anyway, so, notice at night that the Primo Pule doll is moving just like everyone else. Let's go have a word with him so we can be able to see what he has to say because you will never get a chance to talk to him ever. So, let's go talk to him. Hello. You let me out of that the treasure chest. No? Yes, we did. I thought so. Thanks so much. I hope we will be friends. I hate it. I hate it when the text scrolls slowly like that. Anyway, so we got 19 happy points. Anyway, what do you have to say now? Chibi Robo! You look a, a bit different today. Yes, characters also will actually comment on the Super Chibi Robo costume, just like every other costume out there. I'm not gonna show that because, honestly, the Chibi Super Chibi Robo costume is just a badge slapped on the Super Chibi Robo logo, just slapped on the either <laughs> slapped onto well his chest and the inside of the the lid that is his head. Anyway, so. Now we're going to conclude another side quest, and that'll be the last side quest, well aside from the hot rod and and the space flyer, but screw those things. I'm not going to get those because those are difficult, but here we are to conclude Captain Plankbeard. Oh, there he is. I thought he wasn't there for a second, but let's go talk to him. Captain Plankbeard! Ah, we square one. Did you find the treasure? Yes, we've got all of them. Well, shiver me timbers. Chibi! Your laddie. Who would have thought that you could activate Giga Robo? Now that Giga Robo has returned, this place won't be needing me anymore. 
but treasure awaits me elsewhere. Look, wipey! Sarge, you came to say goodbye? Your training prepared us to become pirates. Thank you, Sarge. It's hard to leave, Sarge. We're gonna miss you. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you sniveling worms. Remember your training. No crying. <sighs> it touches the heart. It does. Yes, it's very touching! Alright! Sarge, your feelings toward your men be clear. And I'll treat them as be very old. Chibi Robo! You must always remember this. I may not have found treasure, though I looked hard. But I found something more important. Camaraderie, loyalty, friendship! Now, me hearties, it's time to set sail! Yes, sir! Let's go find a pile of doubloons! Space, let us sail! That just be the most flatulent ship out there. Anyway, there they go. Towards space, into the moon. Surprisingly, a plane has not come over to hit them just to make this moment funnier. And now I probably ruined it, but I don't care. Think of us always as friends. Thank you, Chibi. The pirates just gave you 100 happy points. We also got... The Plankbeard sticker! The final sticker that's not those two things! Oh well, they're gone. Pirates are kinda nice, aren't they? Well, I'm gonna head back home. Are you done training, Sarge? Come on, let's go home! When I get back, we're going to train more! Oh! So I guess my treasured friend is... You, Chibi Robo! And that is every single side quest except for the second round of the frog rings in the game. Kind of kind of a weird feeling to be well done with the side quest considering well there's not a lot of side quests over the course. Anyway, so before we conclude one more thing which is deliver the Tamagotchi toy to dad. I might as well considering we're in the backyard and the frog ring is in this place too. We might as well get started on getting the second round of frog rings. We have infinite energy, meaning that we have nothing to lose. Meaning we are free to go about our business. To get these frog rings. So, um, I'm going to go, uh, cut to a montage of so sorts while I give my final thoughts about the- Final thoughts about the game. And the project itself. Mostly about the project and game. Because, why not? If I haven't said this enough, this game is criminally underrated on the GameCube. It pretty much takes a simple context of being, well, a small robot in a huge home, well, at least huge for a robot standards, and made it a lot more interesting. And the thing that made it more interesting is the characters, because the characters have so much personality, they just feel more alive. Literally for the toys, because they are alive, but that's beside the point. But also interesting is the fact that they made the house, which is small to our standards, like a big, expansive world to this, well, small, tiny robot like Chibi Robo. And they didn't, they didn't need to do that at all, but they did. What's also great was the Spider Queen fight. It didn't overstay its welcome. It was just a nice break from, well, the peacefulness to, well, a lot of unexpected action. It's weird, and I love it. 
overall, the project went really well. I mean, it allowed me to play a game and enjoy it even more because the stuff I never would have found out as a kid. It allowed me to get, give, well, the audience awareness of a series that they might not have heard of aside from Chibi Robo Ziplash for the 3DS. And most importantly, it made me appreciate the game more because now that I found out about, uh, oh, 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 about, wow, I can't talk today. About all the things that I have found, well, in the game that I didn't as a kid, it made me appreciate how much thought the developers put into the game. Whether it's the characters or the personalities, no. Uh, the personalities of the characters, um, the setting, and of course, the fun. And that's what all games should be about. Fun. And I, it's really sad that we won't be getting a Chibi Robo game for a long time, but hey, maybe we, we will someday. And maybe we'll be cleaning the house, or wherever else, in another game. Probably. Who knows? Okay, so now that we're done, let's go ahead and give these frog rings to our little girl Jenny. Hello, Jenny. I've been cursed again. Say, um, it looks like you have something there. Can I have it? Okay, so let's give her the frog rings again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Your reward is more happy points and moolah. Those are meaningless in the end game now, but okay. You found them all? And Jenny just takes off her hat once again. I believe the cutscene plays out the same as before. The evil frog was to put a Kirsten. Yeah, I think it's. I think it plays out the same. Okay, yeah, the cutscene plays out exactly the same, which means as soon as I leave the room, Jenny will be cursed again. But the real, the real thing I want to go over is Dad over here. Hey there, Chiro. Is there? Is that really a Tamagotchi? Wow, let me play with it. Sure thing. Let's give him the Tamagotchi. Yeah! Tamagotchi! Thanks, Chibi Robo! That just gave you 33 happy points! You got 50 moolah! Spread the happiness! By the way, Chibi Robo, would you consider yourself cute or macho? Answer yes for cute or no for macho! Chibi Robo is not macho, he's cute! Cute, huh? That's just like Jenny! Good to know! My wife gets really mad if I play too much. I'll play at night so she won't catch me. So, I'm gonna go leave the room. And I'm gonna ignore you, Spider, to see if the thing just starts over again. Remy! Please, no! Oh, evil frog wizard! Chibi Robo and I are under the evil frog wizard spell again! Darn it, Jenny! Some things never do change, and I think that's the end of it, or do we have to go a third round? Yep, there, we have to go a third round and in the exact same same spot as, well, the previous run, and yeah, you are not seeing things. There is actually a red block there. Earlier while I was trying to get the frog rings in the, in the well, bedroom, I had this happen. While I was collecting those frog rings, Dinah just wanted to talk to me. What do you want, Dinah? What's so important that you had to interrupt me? Howdy, Chibi Robo! Can Dinah ask a favor of you? Spirit, I always did like a young. Wait a minute. Is the block side quest repeating itself again? Since Funky came back to life, I've been searching for something to fulfill me. I need blocks again. So if you find any blocks, just bring them here to old Dinah, my right here? Just like you did the last time, I'm counting on ya, Chibi Robo! I still need six more of those blacks! What kind of voice was that, but... I guess the side quest just resets itself, which I'm assuming the reward is... The reward is... is, well... The blocks again. 
No, the reward- I'm assuming the reward is, well, just Dinah turning into a truck again. I'm not gonna go for it because, well, that's a lot of bonus material I want to go through, and I don't want to go through the recollecting of everything again. Yeah, apparently Dinah wants to have six more of the same blocks, and just like the frog rings, they're all in different locations. I found a yellow block in the basement, but I'm not gonna go for the blocks unless people ask me if to show them where the uh, the six blocks are in the in the second round of this. Your, your reward is Dinah building a house for herself. I lied. I recorded this a few days after I recorded this episode because, well, I couldn't find a complete guide as to where the blocks are, so th this fulfills that purpose. Fortunately, all the blocks are in the exact same room where you found it, with the blue and purple blocks being in the exact same location. So your hunt won't be so frustrating after all. And you don't even need to talk to Dad after getting all the blocks. You, the reward is just there, which is totally worth it. It's done! I made a volcano! This is the true dino dinosaur set. I feel so much better! Thanks, Chibi Robo! And look at that! We have built Dinah's lovely new home. Just the thing befitting of a Lego dinosaur. Yeah, not really that much of a reward in considering any the end game. But yeah. Now we're just gonna have to go to sleep so because. Something special happened in the coffee room. I said coffee room, I just realized that. No, in the um, living room, I am sorry, I, f I had a brain fart over there, but let's go onto the coffee table of the living room. Eh, I was on the right track. Yep, that totally proves the frog ring is exactly where it was when I during the second round, so at least we don't have to worry about that. We can go ahead and hunt them up down again, but... Let's go play with this Tamagotchi. Taking care of a Tamagotchi, eh? I don't think Mr. Sanderson is gonna pay attention to it. Say, why don't you take care of it? You can rack up happy points while you're at it. And Mr. Sanderson will be glad for the help if you can take care of two things at once. Let's go pet it. Yep, just like a real life Tamagotchi. We got five happy points, and I believe just for playing with the Tamagotchi. Oh! We also get the Tamagotchi sticker, which I assume is going to be your final sticker. Anyway, so I'm gonna play with it again. Nothing seems to be happening right now. Yeah, you have to come back every half day or every night to be able to do something else with the Tamagotchi. And this, there's Giga Robo on the couch from this point forward. And speaking of the couch, well, Giga Robo himself. Yeah. A lot of people are curious what happens if you if you input the password before after getting the giga battery in but before getting the left leg. This should happen. Yeah, it's kind of expected that for it to happen, you know, so it's going to hint that you need the leg regardless. But with all that bonus material out of the way, I think it's time to reconclude this Let's Play. I have nothing else to go over. It's a, this is a really good game that I'm pretty sure that no one's ever heard of or taken the time to get to know. And now that this Let's Play has come and gone, I really hope that you enjoyed, well, getting to know Chibi Robo, whether it's the character or the series, basically the Chibi Robo himself. And hopefully one day they will be able to make more Chibi Robo so everyone can appreciate him. Because I think that's the dream we all want, right? So, with that, I leave you off with a pose from Super Chibi Robo. So, I'm going to see you guys in a new Let's Play. The game has been announced to celebrate a series anniversary, and what a milestone that was. So, we're going to be playing an adventure that was supposed to be, well, a celebration for a milestone of that same series and probably the best milestone of them all. 
So, I'll see you guys in a new Let's Play. See you then!